Hi guys, and welcome back to Vlogmas. It's day seven. Can't believe I've already been vlogging for a week. For today's vlog, I'm gonna do a super, super detailed nighttime slash after my nine to five routine and show you everything that I do on a regular day. I feel like my nights are pretty routined lately, even though I, you know, the only thing that varies is when I go to bed, so unfortunately. Uh, that's the last thing that should be varied. That should be like the number one thing that always is the same, but you know. It is currently 4.53. I'm actually not done with my nine to five work. There's a couple things that I need to do. So I'll probably work until like six tonight. I'm so hungry that I just went ahead and ordered food and me and Max are gonna be too busy tonight to cook. So I'm just gonna eat dinner and finish working and take you along my whole night. Ooh. I think this is PR. Um, I'm just gonna open it because, you know, I'm taking you guys along a real night and the reality is that I am not the kind of girl, I'm not the kind of creator that like waits and lets her boxes pile up and then does like a huge haul. I see people do that all the time. They're like, oh, I have like all these boxes. No, the second a box gets to my door, I'm opening it. I can't wait, I'm just, I get too excited because I love getting packages, whether it's PR or I bought it. So let's open this one. I know this one's PR because I recognize the name, but I don't actually know what's in there. So let's see. These are gonna be cute, I can already tell. Okay, so I got some stuff from Blank NYC. Blank NYC is a brand that I've known about for a really long time. I haven't purchased a lot of their stuff, but I have a couple things. Oh my God, look at this jacket. This is cute. I love how, like literally, I, this this vlog is already all over the place. I'm like, look, here's my food. And then I'm like, never mind, let's unbox a package. But I'm being realistic, okay? This is, this is a realistic night in my life. I remember picking this out. So I'm so glad that they sent it to me because, wait, I can't get it unbuttoned, I don't wanna break it. This coat is really cute. I love how I'm just like trying things on in the middle of my kitchen. I told y'all I can't wait. I just get too excited. Ooh, this is cute. I really like this. I don't have any brown coats. Like I have a brown um, like long coat, but here, let's get you lower so you can see the whole thing. So it's like cropped and it's like elastic. So it kind of like pulls in right here. This is really cozy and really comfy too. Ooh, I like this. Cute. I can't wait to wear this. This is so cute with just like casual jeans and it also goes good with Uggs. It doesn't match perfectly, but it's close enough to wear it compliments. Love, by the way, I'll link all this stuff below for you guys in case you wanna shop it. I got a small in this jacket. This is cute, I'm so glad I got this. I actually saw this on Revolve not very long ago and had to have it. This is nuts. What? This like makes me feel like Cruella DeVille. I don't know if she has a coat like this, but in my brain she does. But like if Cruella DeVille was nice, you know? <laughs> what? This is so fun. I don't know. I don't know what I feel like in this, but I love it. Look how cool. It's like, it's like a furry Sherpa material. <sighs> it's long. You can't even see the whole thing. Hold on. Are you kidding me? I kind of feel like a rock star in this, like on the red carpet, like Macklemore vibes. Kind of. <laughs> this is so cool. While I have it on, I'm gonna go ahead and snap a photo for my Instagram. <sighs> I've been trying to get in the habit of posting all my outfits on my Instagram because historically I'm not good at it. I forget all the time. I gotta make sure I do that. It's also hard though, like when you work a nine to five, a lot of the time during the day, I'm in like comfy clothes. This jacket is literally so cute. I'm like in disbelief. Anyway, what I was saying is 
a lot of the times I don't remember to get photos for my Instagram because it's hard to be thinking about like doing Instagram, TikTok stuff while I'm doing my nine to five. I try to like compartmentalize so I can do both of them well instead of trying to do them at the same time. Okay, I changed my mind. Me and Max are eating at the coffee table because we didn't spend any time together today. So this is our together time. Just finished dinner and now I'm heading upstairs to Max's office to review the vlog that's about to go up. I have to like review it, write the description, all that fun stuff. It's about 6.35. I just finished the vlog for yesterday. Max edits and then I review it and stuff and make the description and the thumbnail and all that. So that's done and Max is uploading today's vlog. So now I am just gonna work for like 25, I'm gonna cut myself off at seven o'clock, but I have a couple other things to do for my nine to five job that I just need to finish. This is pretty normal for me, like this kind of schedule at nighttime to kind of like go back and forth because I'll wake up in the morning and usually do my content stuff, like my brand deals, my emails, and I film most of my TikToks in the morning. That's just when it's easiest for me because a lot of my team that I work with in my nine to five lives on the West Coast. And so I normally don't have meetings until the afternoon or like lunchtime. So it's easier for me to start working on my nine to five stuff a little bit later and just like work until six or seven or something versus starting at nine. So that's normally what I do. And then at night, like, like I did tonight, I'll work for like, I'll work until dinner. I might go grab some food or something and then I'll come back to my computer and work for like 30 minutes to an hour and just wrap things up and get ready for my day tomorrow just so that I feel good. Like the worst feeling ever is like laying in bed at night and then thinking about something that you didn't do or thinking about the things that you need to do tomorrow or whatever because you just didn't write things down and get organized before you finished. So that is pretty much what I'm doing right now. I'm just trying to get organized, like close myself out for the day and then I'll get on with the rest of my night. I said I was gonna do that for 25 to 30 minutes. And then I looked up and now it's 7.50. So that did not work out how I had planned, but unfortunately that's pretty realistic. So, so we're really uh, being honest in this vlog. So now I'm moving from my office to my couch to <laughs> send some brand emails. Okay, I've just moved to the couch. I had to get out of the office. Sometimes when it's dark in there, I can just get like sucked into my computer and then I lose track of time like I just did. And then like it's basically midnight and I'm still in there. So now I'm just gonna post that jacket on Instagram, this one that I was wearing. It is eight o'clock now. I just did some like checking on my TikTok and Instagram comments and DMs and all that stuff. I have to like, monitor myself and go in little spurts or else I will just like get sucked into the hole. I'm sure we all know what that feels like. You like open your phone and next thing you know, you're like deep into a conspiracy theory on TikTok or something. And you're then you're like, how did I get here? I literally opened my phone to like put something in my calendar. Yeah, I know. You're not alone. I really want to get to bed. Like I want to be in bed by like 10 or 10.30 tonight because I'm just, my body is like exhausted. I don't know if you can tell, but my eyes are like glassy. I had a migraine earlier today, actually. It, it wasn't quite a migraine, it was just like a tension headache that was going to turn into a migraine if I didn't take some Excedrin. And good news is I, I took some and my headache kind of went away, but I still feel like tense. But anyways, what I need to do is pick my giveaway winners for the giveaway that I did for Vlogmas. I was actually supposed to announce it yesterday and I was just so busy. I honestly didn't even get a chance to like pick up my computer until later in the day, but then that was Rufus's birthday and that was more important yesterday. So now I'm just gonna pick the giveaway winner. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use a random TikTok um, giveaway comment picker 
to find the, or to pick randomly the winner of the giveaway. Just posted the Vlogmas giveaway winners over on TikTok. So congratulations to Paige and Emma. Thank you so much for following me and supporting me and liking my stuff and shopping my storefront. Also, I will get your gifts shipped out in just a few days because I'm waiting on some stuff to come in from Amazon that hasn't arrived yet. But yeah, that's really exciting. I've loved doing this giveaway and I really wanna do more. So you guys let me know in the comments like what kinds of things you would want. Like I can do Amazon gift card giveaways. I can do cash giveaways. I can do Abercrombie gift card giveaways. I could do giveaways on like some of my favorite things. Kind of like how this one was. Just let me know, this was super fun. I'm definitely gonna be doing more. Okay, now that I got that out of the way, I just have one more thing to do real quick before I start like winding down and getting ready for bed. So if you're not aware, after you do like a brand deal with a brand, a lot of the times you have to send in the like the analytics and the um, performance, hello, of how that post performed. As I was saying, a lot of the time when you work with a brand, you have to send them the performance of your post. So like how many views it got, what your engagement was, all that stuff. That's what I have to do. I have to send a couple invoices to a couple brands. Then I'm literally just going to bed. I'm so tired. I feel like I can't function anymore. I worked on my computer until about nine, it's 9.28 right now. And now I'm just gonna get ready for bed, but it is hair washing night. So I'm gonna take you guys through the full detailed situation of what I use. Um, but first I wanna take a shower and then I'm gonna come back and, and tell you about it. I just got out of the shower and I wanted to show you guys the hair care products that I've been using along with my skincare. The first product that I use is the Whey shampoo and conditioner. I get the one for medium hair. And I've, this is my first bottle of this shampoo and I didn't wanna buy it for a long time because it looked small and like it was gonna run out super fast. But as you can see, they're still like halfway full and I've had these for like two months, I think. So they definitely last longer than I was expecting and you don't really have to use as much because it suds up really easily. So overall, super impressed. Obviously this is like the most beautiful packaging of any shampoo conditioner I've ever had. So I love it and I will definitely be rebuying it. But also on hair wash days, I usually double wash my hair. So I use the Whey shampoo first because it is the most like clarifying. I feel like it really cleans my hair. Like my hair feels almost like squeaky after I'm done with it. So then I go in with my Biolage, I think that's how you say it, strength recovery shampoo. This is like very moisturizing and nourishing to my hair, I feel like. So that's why I wash with this second. And this is another one where it does not take that much shampoo and it suds up really fast. So I use the way to like clean it really good. I always have like so much product buildup and dry shampoo that I need a shampoo that really cleans well. And then this makes it feel soft and moisturized. Then for conditioner, I will either use the conditioner that goes with the way shampoo or the Biolage Strength Recovery Shampoo. But today I used this Biolage Strength Recovery Deep Treatment Pack. I have like a bunch of different hair masks. I used to never use hair masks. Like, I don't think I started using my first hair mask until a year ago. Just because growing up, I like never got them. And I honestly thought they were just like a scam. Like they didn't work that well. But I'm here to tell you they're not a scam. This thing works so well. I, whenever I use this, my hair is like so silky soft and smooth. And whenever I run out, I'll definitely be buying a new one. But I probably use this once a week and I've had it for two months or so and it's lasted quite a long time. So you don't have to use a lot and it works really well. Then for body wash, I have been loving this brand. Every single thing I have from them, I'm obsessed with. And I, I truly mean that. I have bought all of it. They didn't, it wasn't free. I didn't do ads with them, nothing. Like genuinely, I love this brand. This is their Fragrance Free Skin Replenishing Serum Body Wash. Because I've been loving the body wash so much, I just had to buy the lotion too. Next, I'm going to go in with skincare. And what I'm about to do, I only do like, I would say once a month. And it is to get all the peach fuzz off my face. <laughs> because I get like a lot of peach fuzz like right here. And I get like, this is so TMI, but whatever. I get these hairs like on my chin they're not like long black hairs or anything 
they're just like regular color like peach but they're like thick and they there's like two and they just drive me insane so when they start coming back then I know it's time to do my little face shaver again so before I do my skin feels dry I just put some oil on my hands and I'm just gonna put it on my skin to make it feel a little bit more smooth and moisturized so that it just gets the hair and it doesn't like make my skin too dry then I'm gonna just go in with my little face shaver I'll link this below I buy them in packages from Amazon and they're super cheap it's literally so simple you just like pull your skin you want to make sure you pull it like tight and then you just start shaving away you don't have to push hard or anything like that you just be really gentle okay hold on it is literally so hot in here my goodness every time i do this my skin does feel super sensitive afterwards just because you kind of did like exfoliate it in that thing is sharp so afterwards i always make sure to use like really gentle products you definitely don't want to use anything like you know a retinol or a liquid exfoliant or anything like that just because you did just exfoliate it so i usually just pick something that feels really good and like calming on the skin and this is a probiotic toner from be well company it's like all natural super easy on the skin but it like feels really good while the toner's drying i'm gonna put on my eyelash serum i've been using the dime beauty eyelash boost serum for Probably, honestly, I would say probably like six weeks now and I put it on every night for the most part. I used to use Grande Lash and then my lashes got like <laughs> abnormally long. Like they, they looked like lash extensions. They were so long. And then randomly, like I was probably using it for eight months-ish and then my lashes started getting really brittle and breaking off so i had to stop using it because i think maybe my lashes just didn't like it anymore i'm not quite sure i also have really sensitive eyelids and and stuff used to i would get eyelash extensions and then one time i got them just like it was a regular same glue same eyelash extensions everything was the same but one day I got my lashes filled and my eyelids decided to be allergic to stuff that I had been using for like six months. And I never could get eyelash extensions after that. So it's kind of the same thing that happened with the Grande Lash. Hopefully it doesn't happen with this lash serum because I really like it. But I went with this brand because it's really natural. What does it say? It doesn't have parabens, sulfates, vegan friendly, non-irritating lash treatment. It says nourishes conditions and improves the appearance of sparse lashes i definitely wouldn't say my lashes have grown like they do with the grande lash but they're thicker and they feel healthier and i feel like somehow i feel like i have more lashes i'm not sure if that's just me um but i really like it now that that has set in i'm just going to use my serums so i always do the ordinary niacinamide then i'm going to go in with the ordinary hyaluronic acid lately i've been using the first aid beauty eye duty niacinamide brightening cream honestly i don't really know that it works to like fix or brighten your under eye like long term but because it has almost this like glimmer like reflecting glimmer to it it probably just makes it seem like your eyes are lighter underneath they probably aren't but i do like it and it makes them feel really moisturized i will say that and lastly i'm just gonna go in with my tried and true first aid beauty ultra repair cream i have been using this for literally so long years now and Max loves it too. I think I've told y'all before, but he he uses the skincare just as much as I do. And it's like the first skincare that he's ever really liked or what it, whatever you use, pretty much. Okay, now that that's done, I'm gonna take a little bit of Aquaphor for my lips. And I always like to put a tiny bit like around my nose. I don't know about y'all but my nose gets really dry in the winter 
especially if it's like windy outside and dry inside if i'm around like the fire my nose always gets dry and i hate that feeling so i've been putting this aquaphor on every night and i swear it's helping like i haven't had any sort of like dryness around my nose yet this year so something's working i told y'all i mean i i i put it in the I put it in the title of this video that I was going to give you a super detailed night routine. So that's what I'm doing. I really don't like going to bed with wet hair. I'd prefer to like shower in the morning and stuff, but realistically that just wasn't an option for me today. So for um, leave-in conditioner, I'm going in with the Biolosh Strength Recovery Leave-in Conditioner. It's the same product line as the shampoo and the hair mask that I showed you guys. I've tried a lot of different leave-in conditioners, and to be honest, I haven't really found a bad one. <laughs> like, I really think that they're just all the same. But this one smells really good, and it does work, so I've just been using it for now. And then my brush needs to be cleaned, but this is a Wet Brush Pro. I think it's like, it's the same Wet Brush brand, but I like it because it's thicker than the normal Wet Brushes. The other ones have like that tiny little handle. Actually, Max has the regular one, so I can show you guys. This is the regular, this is mine. The front looks the same. I think like the brush is the same. I honestly think it's just the handle that's different, but it makes a difference to me. I like, I like the thick handle. I was just thinking about this vlog that I'm filming right now while I was in the shower. And just like kind of laughing at myself because literally like, this is like rea my reality this month just because it's so busy and like doing vlogmas and my nine to five and content stuff and just like regular Christmas stuff and regular life. It's a lot. So really like this is balance for me. Like I think, I think different seasons of your life require different balance. And like this month, I'm just prioritizing different things then I'll be prioritizing in January. So it's just for a short time. Like it's obviously I couldn't run at this capacity for long. That's why it's literally like 24 days of it. And then we're taking a week off and then we'll go back to like a different balance and we'll prioritize different things and that's okay. Through life, you won't always have the same priorities. Sometimes they change day to day. Sometimes it's month to month, year to year. And that is just okay. But I was laughing because I was like, man, if someone came here to be inspired to like be healthy and have like a really good night routine that's like healthy and good for your brain and all that stuff, like inspiring, girl, this ain't it. Come back in January and we'll have, we'll be healthier. For oil, same Biolage brand. This is the multi-benefit oil, the all-in-one. I really like it. This is a thicker oil, so I use it sometimes when my hair is feeling dry, which my hair was definitely feeling dry today. That's why I did the hair mask. And I really, I really like this stuff. It definitely will make your hair oily if you use too much of it. So just using a little bit. And then my other favorite is the Way. These are clearly my my favorite brands, Biolage and the Way. This way one is super thin and it smells like really good and flowery. So I use this one usually when my hair is dry. Skin is done. I'm gonna try out my new Sauter lotion. Okay, 10 out of 10, that lotion was so good. <laughs> the the It's like exactly what I was looking for. Like it doesn't have an overwhelming scent. It's natural and the consistency is like perfect. Before that, I was using the Native, which is another like all natural brand and it just felt so thin like i'd put it on my body and then i would feel like i didn't have lotion on and i want to feel like i have it on another brand i think it was aquaphor actually maybe but it was too thick and i felt like my pores were like getting clogged and i felt sticky and i didn't want to lay in bed and feel sticky that's like ugh. so this one is like in between the two next on our to-do list is kona has to have her teeth brushed we don't do this every night. We just started doing it actually. She hates this, so we'll see how this goes. Good job. Okay, you can be done. That's enough. You can be done. You gonna taste it? 
<laughs> Good boy. Okay, we got him. We got him a little. That's enough for today. Y'all did good. Last thing we do is we just put on this little nose soother. It's like a healing wax, organic, natural for dry skin. You can put it on like their pads too. But Rufus and Kona, not really Kona, but Rufus gets a really dry nose. <laughs> this is so funny. Looks like a little chapstick. So we just put it on his nose. Wait. Uh -uh. Wait. I know you don't like it, huh? Good job. There you go. Okay, sit, Kona. Come here. Boop, boop. Good girl. <laughs> Do you think you deserve a treat now? Maybe? I think we can probably arrange that. What do you think? Sit. Sit. I don't think so. Good job. Good job. Good girl, Gona. Something I've been doing before I go to bed lately is making a to-do list and like outlining my day tomorrow before I actually go to bed and I feel like then I can just lay in bed and not think about all the things that I have to do the next day. So this is what I've been using. I can't remember if I showed you guys this already or not, but it's just a daily planner. It's actually sold out on Amazon right now, but I like it because it has like the schedule, to-do list, priorities, notes, and it's like a notepad so you can rip it off each day. Then I use my planner. I don't really, I'm not really using the weekly view of it right now. I'm just really using like the monthly view. This is Vlogmas. <laughs> you can't really read it probably, but we have like every single day planned out. So I take that and then I take my little notepad and I do all my to-dos and I build my schedule for the next day. just got in bed and I have not been very good at it, but I was in a really bad habit where I would lay here and scroll TikTok. And if for a million reasons, it's not what you should do when you lay in bed at night. So lately I've been trying to just like, before I get into my bed, I'll plug my phone up and set my alarm and put it face down. Some days I pick it up because I don't have self-control, I guess. Um, tonight I'm not going to because it's already kind of late and I just want to go to sleep. But yeah, that's about it for my night routine. Um, sometimes I'll sit in bed and read like a little bit. It just depends on my mood. But lately I haven't really been, I've been kind of out of the habit. But I did read a couple days ago on my self-care night vlog and it's kind of making me want to read again. But I don't know what book to read right now and I, I don't want to like go down the hole of trying to find a book because then I'll go on TikTok to look at book reviews and then we all know how that ends. I'll just get sucked into the hole. Thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog and let me know if you have any questions about any of the stuff that I used or my routine in the comments. I did try to make it as detailed as humanly possible without being like overboard. I don't know, was the chin hair overboard? Maybe. Anyway, I will see you guys again tomorrow in Vlogmas Day 8. Bye!